quadrantonopia. In this case, let us consider the right segment, the right uh, side of the eye where we have the temporal and the nasal fields where the temporal and the nasal retinal fibers will respectively carry the information from the opposite visual fields that is the nasal retinal fiber will carry the information from the temporal visual field and the temporal retinal fibers will carry the information from the nasal visual, visual field so the temporal fibers does not cross whereas the nasal fibers cross at the site of opticism so the nasal retinal fibers from the left eye will uh, connect as a tract as a common right sided optic tract for the right eye so it will this optic tract will carry the information from the nasal uh, retinal fibers and the temporal retinal fibers from the left and right eye respectively so the information is coming from uh, the left side of the visual field now after the synapse in the lateral geniculate body it will give rise to two main fibers one is the Meyer fiber and one is the Baum's fiber now what is Meyer fiber? Meyer fiber will carry the nerve retinal nerve fibers from the inferior side if this is the retina uh, the superior and the inferior retina from the lateral aspect of the eye then the superior uh, retinal fibers will go along the bone fiber whereas the inferior retinal fibers will compose comprise the mare fiber similarly uh, the superior retinal fiber will receive the information from the inferior visual field whereas the inferior retinal fiber will carry the information from the superior visual field. So the bone fiber that comprise of the superior retinal fiber uh, will comprise the superior retinal fibers from the bone fibers will receive the superior retinal fibers. So we have the superior temporal retinal fibers and the superior nasal retinal fibers. So superior temporal and superior nasal retinal fibers will belong to this quadrant of the retinal fibers. Similarly, for the Meyer fiber, the Meyer fiber will carry the inferior retinal fibers. Therefore, uh, it will carry the inferior retinal, inferior, inferior retinal fibers of the temporal part and the nasal part, which will be this side of the retinal fibers so if the right sided mare fiber is damaged then uh, it refers to the damage of the inferior retinal fibers to, so this part of the retina is damaged so this part of the retina is acquiring information from uh, from the superior and the nasal or from the left sided quadrant so this quadrant of the eye of the visual field is damaged similarly in case of bombs fiber in the right sided bomb fiber damage uh, we know that the bomb fiber carries the super retinal fibers and it will carry this quadrant of the retinal fibers so this quadrant is receiving super quadrant is receiving the information from the inferior and from the left side quadrant so this side of the visual field will be lost so this is known as homonymous left sided quadrantopia and this is known as homonymous left sided inferior quadrantopia this is the superior quadrantopia and this is the inferior quadrantopia